Intelligent manipulation benefits from being able to distinguish between different object materials and understand their physical properties. We as humans gradually acquire this understanding by interacting with objects over time. Is it possible for robots to learn about these properties by themselves as well? Doing so is actually quite challenging. For example, in static environments, most physical properties cannot be directly inferred from appearance cues alone. Even under static or quasi-static interactions like pushing, these properties can be difficult to observe without accurate force torque sensing. In this work, we're interested in enabling robots to autonomously learn about the physical properties of various objects using vision. The idea is that by observing object behaviors under different forms of dynamic manipulation, such as sliding or colliding, and then building a predictive model from these observations, the system can learn meaningful object-centric representations that reflect physical properties. This leads to more accurate and efficient manipulation in downstream tasks. Here is a demonstration of our system. Each individual cube on the table has a different set of mass and friction. On the right, we visualize the learned pixel-wise feature representations, color-coded by feature distances. Initially, the representations share a similar color, but after several physical interactions, the representations can be distinguished in the embedding space, leading to gradually more contrast of deep features. We designed two types of dynamic interactions to accentuate the physical properties of objects, sliding and collision. For sliding, the robot executes a push at high speeds so that the object can slide after the push. For collisions, the robot grasps an auxiliary cylinder and lets it roll down the ramp to collide with an object. Here's the action in simulation using PyBullet. Here are the details of our model. Our model takes as input the current state, modeled as a depth image, and an action vector. The action vector is fed through an encoding network that generates a set of convolutional kernels. Simultaneously, the depth image is passed into another network that extracts visual signals and outputs a visual representation. The two representations are combined with cross-convolution to generate state action representation that is then fed into a motion predictor network to predict the change in state. We represent the changes in state using pixel-wise optical flow. To aggregate the information from past interactions, the multi-step aggregator learns to integrate the visual representation with the object representation after the last interaction. We execute a series of experiments to explore whether the learned representations encode meaningful information about physical object properties, and whether they are useful for downstream tasks. We first analyze whether the learned physical representation can be used to distinguish objects' materials. In this experiment, the robot interacts with three objects with different physical properties, but with the same appearance. During the interaction, we visualize the pixel-wise representation features using two-dimensional TSNE. Initially, the three objects cannot be distinguished from each other. But after several interactions, the representation features gradually separate themselves from each other in the embedding space. We then trained a linear classifier to decode physical properties from the latent representations on the annotated dataset. Over the course of multiple interactions, the error decreases quickly, which means our model gradually accumulates knowledge of object physics. We test the learned representation. In this experiment, our task is to slide an unknown object with a selected pushing direction and speed so that the object will slide to the target position. We do this task by using the learned predictive model. Here is a comparison between our model and the forward model pushing the same cube. Our model achieves better performance after several interactions. Our models can generalize quite well to new scenarios. For example, here we evaluate on two cases, generalizing to scenes with more objects than in training, and generalizing to new tasks. First, we test our algorithm's generalization ability to scenes with more objects than those in training. Here we train the model using two objects, and then test it with three and four objects. The small gap in performance between the training and testing setup suggests that our model generalizes to new scenes with more objects. Also, once that we have decoded the physical properties, we can integrate them into a physics engine for planning and control in new tasks. Here, the goal of the new task is to slide one cube into another, so that after the collision, the second cube reaches a target position. To accurately do so, the model needs to infer the robot pushing speed of the first cube as well as its mass. First, the robot interacts with the second cube to decode its physical properties. Then we enumerate all possible pairs of mass and speed for the first cube and simulate their collisions in a physics engine. During testing, we choose the pair of parameters that gives the prediction that is closest to the goal state. Because our algorithm can more accurately decode physical properties, our algorithm achieves better performance in this new task as well. Thank you for watching.